You are the, uh, you're the perfect audience for this young lady. She is a young housewife from Denver, and she started performing stand-up comedy at the Comedy Works uh, out in Denver. And she moved to Hollywood and appears at the Comedy Store, and we introduced her to television a couple of months ago, and uh, we thought she was marvelous. So would you welcome, please, Roseanne Barr. <laughs> to be out of the house. <laughs> I never get out of the house. I stay home all the time. I never do anything fun ever, ever, ever. Because I'm a housewife. <laughs> I hate that word, and I hate the word homemaker, too. I want to be called domestic goddess. <laughs> it's more descriptive. But anyway, so I have three kids, and I've been married for 14 years, so I breed well in captivity. <laughs> a lot of stuff bugs me about being married, you know, like having a husband and stuff. <laughs> well, sometimes I really feel sorry for my husband, you know, because he loves me. <laughs> Every guy that ever loved me, because I can't stand to do the stuff they want you to do, you know. <laughs> you know, like clean stuff and cook stuff and help them with their little problems like I care. <laughs> I'd rather lay there on the couch criticizing others and then run all the charge cards up to the limit. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. But they still bug you like my husband he bugs me about housework and that you know like he'll go Roseanne well maybe if you start now you could have a clean house by Christmas <laughs> who am I June Cleaver <laughs> the day I worry about cleaning my house is when Sears comes out with a riding vacuum cleaner <laughs> Anyways, well, I am really a nice wife and all, because like every year on my husband's birthday, you know what I tell him? I say, today I'm going to be the wife you always wanted me to be, and I'll say really nice stuff to him just to build up his ego, you know, out of pure love. <laughs> like I'll say, God, honey, you're so incredibly handy with those power tools. <laughs> himself couldn't have handcrafted a finer spice rack. <laughs> now, your mother's the most interesting woman I've ever met. <laughs> you think you could get the lid off this jar? I'm just so weak, you big, strong man, you. <laughs> time, you know. It's not that we mean to or anything, it's just that it takes too long to explain the truth. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, oh, you're the best lover I ever had. It's never been like this. Stop, stop, you're killing me. <laughs> children, you know, like I tell my kids, kids, sex is a normal bodily function, like an aneurysm or a heart attack. <laughs> I, want, I think I have enough time to go into my sexual problems, but like my queen-size pantyhose is getting ready to give up the throne over here. <laughs> but I do have sexual problems like with my husband. You won't even believe this. You'll die. You know what he says to me two weeks ago? You'll die. He says to me, Roseanne, why don't you try to be more aggressive in bed? I'm sure. <laughs> he really does say that, though. Hey, Roseanne, why don't you ever try to be more aggressive in bed? So I thought about it and all like that, you know. Then last night we're laying there and he reached for me, so I said, No! Nah! He 
he's never happy. <laughs> but anyway, it's real hard to be married for a long time like my best friend, you know. Well, she's leaving her husband just because he was unfaithful to her. Do you even believe that? That is no reason to leave the person. I feel like after that, you should stay with them and make sure the rest of their life is sheer hell. <laughs>